Hi there, Evan here. I'm a technical curriculum developer for Google Cloud. And hi from me, Jenny. I'm a sales trainer for Google Cloud. On an earlier episode, we looked at how Google BigQuery can help you get meaningful insights from your data. The hands-on labs also gave you a chance to use the web UI and the command line tool to query public tables and load in a sample of that data into BigQuery. You can check out a link to that episode here. On this episode, though, we're appealing to the basketball lovers out there. Through a hands-on lab, you're going to use BigQuery to explore the NCAA data set of basketball games, teams, and players. The game data covers play-by-play -play and box scores back to 2009, as well as final scores back to 1996. But if you love your data more than you love basketball, that's fine, too. <laughs> It isn't a coincidence that this lab is based on NCAA data. As part of its journey to the cloud, the NCAA is migrating over 80 years of historical and play-by-play -play data from 90 championships and 24 sports. At Google Cloud, we're extremely proud and excited to be the official public cloud provider of the NCAA. Check out the link to see how the NCAA is using Google Cloud to tap into decades of sports data. With $100,000 up for grabs, Google Cloud, NCAA, and Kaggle teamed up for a unique competition using the NCAA March Madness Tournament as the common backdrop. Participants strengthened their knowledge of basketball, statistics, data modeling, and cloud technology while competing against each other for the most innovative applications of machine learning. Check out this link for the blog post. <laughs> Now, before we dive into the world of basketball, let's do a quick recap of BigQuery. BigQuery is a fully managed, massive scale, low cost enterprise data warehouse running on top of Google's proven compute, storage, and networking infrastructure. This allows you to focus less on developing your infrastructure and more on finding insights from your data. It's super fast too, scanning terabytes in seconds and even petabytes in minutes. This makes interactive, self-service exploration of massive data sets viable, which means better analysis, more creativity, and you can derive more interesting insights. So now for the fun bit, quick labs. In this hands-on lab, you're going to run a bunch of cool queries against the NCAA data set using BigQuery. Some of the results might just surprise you. Now you can check out the link to start the quick lab here. And keep in mind, it's going to take you about 45 minutes to complete. Now, so far in the lab, we found the NCAA public data set in BigQuery. We then preview the NCAA men's play-by-play -play table. We create a query to find the types of basketball plays. We run some fun queries, including finding which teams scored the most points in a game. Here we find out which 10 teams scored the most points cumulatively since 2010. We also run some more complex queries to determine which conferences are the best at winning tight games. We hope you enjoyed this episode and had some fun analyzing the NCAA dataset. We'd love to hear how Google BigQuery has helped you gain insights into your own datasets too. If you haven't signed up for the $300 free trial credit on GCP, check out this link. It's a great way to apply what you've learned. All of our additional training resources are linked below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Check out our episode on building a Slack bot using the BotKit Toolkit and running it on Google Cloud Platform. Watch the video and the Quick Lab demo here.